Space is vast and mysterious. For centuries, humans have looked up at the stars, wondering if we are alone in the universe. And while we have sent spacecraft and telescopes to explore the cosmos, we have never encountered anything quite like what we discovered in 2017. A strange object that entered our solar system from beyond and left us with more questions than answers. Welcome back to yet another episode of Planetarium, where we discuss space chronicles beyond Earth. In today's video, we will talk about the first interstellar object that has been detected passing through our solar system and why it moves so strangely, terrifying everyone on planet Earth. On October 19, 2017, Oumuamua was first detected by a telescope in Hawaii as it raced past the Sun, reaching a velocity of 87 kilometers per second. Its speed was far too great to have come from within our solar system, leading astronomers to classify it as 1L2017U1 and nicknamed it Oumuamua, which means a messenger from afar arriving first in Hawaiian. Robert Werrick, using a Pan-STARRS telescope, was the one who discovered Oumuamua. At the time of his observation, the object had already passed its nearest point to the Sun by 40 days. The day he observed it, Oumuamua was 33 million kilometers away from Earth. NASA's Hubble and Spitzer telescope found that Oumuamua had an oddly elongated cigar-like shape between 100 meters and 400 meters long and approximately 35 meters to 167 meters thick. It also sped up slightly as it left the solar system. For years, scientists have been searching for signs of life beyond Earth, hoping to find some evidence of intelligent alien civilizations. But Oumuamua raised an even bigger question. Could this object be a sign that we are not alone in the universe? The Oumuamua exhibits non-gravitational acceleration due to outgassing from solar radiation pressure. However, scientists and researchers could not detect any visible coma of dust and gas around the object, nor any tail, both of which would be expected from a comet. But what really puzzled scientists was the fact that Oumuamua seemed to be speeding up as it got closer to Earth, and then did a sharp turn before heading back out into space. This was not something that could be easily explained by natural phenomena. Oumuamua's rotation rate is comparable to that of asteroids in our own solar system. It follows a path that cannot be captured into a solar orbit, meaning that it will eventually leave the solar system and continue into interstellar space. Astronomers are still trying to determine the object's age and the planetary system from which it originated. Although astronomers have determined that Oumuamua is a natural object, its characterization remains uncertain due to limited observation time. Astronomers have noted that Oumuamua's internal strength is comparable to that of icy comets, resulting in a relatively low density. On March 22, 2023, astronomers put forth a new explanation for Oumuamua's acceleration, suggesting that it may be due to a planetesimal relic with similarities to comets in our solar system. Another possibility is that entrapped molecular hydrogen formed through the energetic processing of an icy body rich in water may have been released and contributed to the object's acceleration. Some astronomers have speculated that Oumuamua was created with the help of extraterrestrial technology, although there is currently no evidence to support this theory. Some even suggested that it could be an alien probe or spaceship while others proposed that it may be composed of exotic materials not found in our solar system. However, two researchers who have conducted studies on Oumuamua and published their findings in the journal Nature have suggested that the most likely explanation for its composition is the release of hydrogen from trapped reserves inside water-rich ice. Human fascination with Oumuamua's unique characteristics led to the proposal of Project Lyra in January 2022. This project involves launching a spacecraft from the Earth's surface with the aim of catching up to Oumuamua in 26 years to study it more closely. Jennifer Bergner, an astrochemist with the University of California, Berkeley, initially did not find Oumuamua particularly intriguing as it did not relate closely to her field of study. She explained, it's not that closely related to my field. So I was like, this is a really intriguing object, but sort of moved on with my life. 
However, her interest in Oumuma was piqued when she attended a seminar featuring Cornell University's Daryl Seligman, who spoke about the interstellar objects in detail. Seligman described the oddity of Oumuma and suggested that it may be composed entirely of hydrogen ice. However, other experts believe that Oumuma is made up of nitrogen ice. Jennifer was intrigued by the various explanations that people had come up with to explain the unusual properties of Oumuma. Jennifer teamed up with Daryl to investigate the mysteries surrounding Oumuma. The pair studied what would happen if liquid ice were exposed to a significant amount of radiation. They also calculated the object's mass to determine whether it was large enough to store enough trapped hydrogen to fuel its acceleration. The experts also studied the structure of water exposed to warmth, observing the various shifts and the escape of gas during these shifts. Jennifer's hypothesis presents a plausible explanation for the acceleration of Oumuma. Karen Meech from the University of Hawaii Institute for Astronomy finds this hypothesis intriguing and creative, as it does not require any exotic mechanism to explain the interstellar object's movements. However, she still holds the belief that Oumuma is just an ordinary comet that releases enough water, carbon dioxide, and carbon monoxide to fuel its acceleration, which could have gone undetected by astronomers before. Regardless of its origin, Oumuma's journey through our solar system has provided valuable insights into the nature of interstellar objects. As technology advances and more objects are discovered, astronomers will continue to learn and uncover the mysteries of the universe. Despite the difficulties in observing and studying Oumuma from such a distance, astronomers are still hoping to gather more data about this interstellar object. In addition to the upcoming Vera C. Rubin Observatory, there are plans for a new space-based telescope that could help us better understand the mysteries of the universe. A big question on the minds of many experts is, could there be more objects such as Oumuma in space? The study of Oumuma has opened up new avenues for exploration and discovery in the field of space science. With the potential for more such interstellar objects to be discovered in the future, it is clear that our knowledge of the universe is far from complete. Projects like Project Lyra and upcoming observatories like the Vera C. Rubin Observatory will allow us to make further strides in our understanding of the cosmos. Oumuma, the interstellar object that passed through our solar system in 2017, remains a mystery that continues to fascinate astronomers and the public alike. With its unusual shape and behavior, some have speculated that it could be a piece of extraterrestrial technology, while others believe it to be a natural object with exotic origins. Despite the debate, what is certain is that Oumuma has sparked our curiosity and imagination about the vast expanse of space and the possibility of encountering other worlds beyond our own. Please share your opinions and ideas about Oumuma in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you and engage in a conversation about this fascinating interstellar object.